Hi, Courtney. It's Phil. I thought I'd uh, show you, you know, some later stages of Subnautica. Actually, this is like still pretty early in the mid-game to give you an idea of like stuff to work towards. So this is my base. Uh, you get the blueprint for this main module thing with the six sides. Eight sides, I can count. Uh, you get it from one of the islands you go to, and they give you a beacon to get there. The the Degrassi, Degassi things that will lead you there, and then you just scan it and you can build it. These cabinets, they're lockers that are better than those tiny lockers that you come with. The posters came from the fucking big thing once you get in there. And this baby is the real, is the real help. Well, just a sec. First of all, I'm going to sleep because it's dark outside and I can't see shit. And then I'm going to show you an example of just like one of your outings, what you can do to find this stuff and advance your your buildings. So I'm going to go to that one next because I hit the little button on my radio and said, hey, you know, blah, 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 we need help over here. So that's what I do. Oh, first of all, I make sure I have room in my inventory to carry all the stiff stuff I'm going to be coming back with. That's full. That's full. Oh boy, this is bad. That's full. Okay, you know what? I swear one of these has room. I swear one of these has room! <laughs> okay. This is not how I planned for this to go. I already checked that one. Okay, so, turns out I need to build a new one. I need another titanium first. Gimme. Okay. Ta da Now hold all my shit. Okay. Cool, now let's go. So the Seamoth, this is like the main thing that's gonna help you, mostly because you don't have to keep going up to the surface for air. You you have unlimited air when you're in here and you don't gotta go up to the surface and it just makes exploration way easier. I'm gonna find a way past this reef. Down through here. Do 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 do. And run into some fish. Out of my way, fish. The modules you see on the bottom, those four, the two cargo containers, the depth module, blah blah blah, those are also blueprints that you find. They're modifications for this thing. This wreckage here, it had some blueprints like down in that thing, and I don't know, elsewhere somewhere, but I'm ignoring it because I know I've already like scanned all of the blueprints in and around this wreckage. I've done all the wreckage near my home. Uh, I just need to figure out how to get to this area. Where? How do I? I'll find a way. Up over here, maybe. I've also... Oh, I haven't done this wreckage. Okay. Alright, so you grab your scan tool. Sea Glide Fragment, I already own this, so it's just going to give me titanium instead of stuff. So yeah, anything you find on your way... Oh, a PDA. Cool. Beacon Fragment, I also already have a Beacon Fragment, so that's just going to be titanium. Oh, I need to repair this. And I'm keeping an eye on my oxygen. You'll notice my oxygen's going down very slowly. That's because I also found a blueprint for this. Ultra high capacity tank, which is awesome. Makes your life easy. Four is my flashlight. I also already have this thing. Um, the high capacity O2 tank you get pretty early on though, so I think you can... Wow, lots of beacon fragments. They really want you to have beacons. This leads nowhere. Okay. And that's it for this room. And I can't go through there. So, and I already have beacon fragments. I don't want more titanium. This is chock full of beacon frag. Wow. The, okay. So if you come here, you will instantly have beacons. <laughs> and there doesn't seem to be anything else around here. Wait, is this a door that I can cut? No, it's not. If you float up to the door and it says need laser cutter, then you know. Sea glide fragment. I also already have a sea glide. Oh yeah, speaking of which, this thing. Sea glide. It pulls you along so that you can travel faster and do things like collect rocks and stuff. There. 
See, that could have been copper, but it wasn't because they're mean to me. You can use it to catch fish. Come here. Okay, you know what? If you were coordinated, you could use it to catch fish. Anyways, I'm going to move on so that this video isn't boring. And where's that Degrassi habitat thing? Beacon. There it is, down there. Down and down and down we go. Oh, I know where that is. It's down in that cave system. I actually have a beacon marking the cave entrance somewhere. There it is. Unless I can see another opening around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> down we go. This is going the wrong direction. I want to go that way. What the hell? Alright, you know what? This video <laughs> is a little more trial and error than I thought it would be. Yeah, alright, you know what? I'm definitely just using my original beacon. This is silly. Cave entrance. Oh, that, that loud sound you hear is one of those leviathan things. Reef backs, I think they're called. Um, they're harmless. They sometimes have cool stuff on their back, but uh, not often. I mostly ignore them. I've chucked them out a couple times. You can't grab any stuff while you're in here, so if you see something you want to collect, like if I was interested in that salvage or something, but I already have mountains of titanium, uh, I you have to get out and grab it and then get back in. Or those spade fish. You know, if I had video editing software, that's a scanner room fragment, I would be scanning that. Well, here, I'll show you what I mean. Ow. Okay, when you get out of the thing, when you get out of your sea glide, it keeps moving for a second. Come to a complete stop so you don't get whacked by it. Uh, the 500 up at the top, that's the, the maximum depth of this thing. I have a crush module on it, so I've increased it to 500, but usually it sits around 200. I built that. I was going to start a base down here, but then I stopped because I was lazy and got distracted by other stuff. Where's that? There it is! I'm going the wrong way, and that guy just took a bite out of me. Now my Seamoth's health is down to 83, but that's fine because I have a repair tool on me. Do 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 shale oak crop. Those are cool. Actually, Oxygen I am gonna hit that. Meters. Come here. Oxygen efficiency Diamond. Fuck yeah. Diamonds are great. Uh, so these are the storage containers I put on the back. It's helpful. You can load your sea moth up with stuff. All right, let's go. Do 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 do. do. Another shell outcrop. Yeah, baby. Alright. Alright, you know what? There's more shell down there, but if I grab all of the cool, rare stuff, then I'm never gonna get around to showing you what uh, following the clues uh, gives you. Oh, look. A data box of some kind, or a goodie box. Just a battery. Oh well. Womp womp. Ooh. So this is like an abandoned outpost thingy. I'm gonna put this up next to the door so that when I come back for it, it's not far away. And then I'm gonna repair it because people keep biting my fucking boat. Jerks. Okay. Uh, avoid the purple thingies. I don't know why the waypoint was turned on. I've already been in here. Like, I can't scan this because I've already scanned it. I can't scan the glass window. I can't scan the reinforced bulkhead thing. I've already scanned all this shit. So I don't know why. And there was a fucking... This is, this is the bed. This is where you scan the bed to build it in your home. You can scan the grass walls and then you're able to build those. Um, oddly enough, even though this has multi-purpose rooms, you can't scan the multi-purpose rooms. You can scan the hatch, though. But actually, I think it starts with the hatch. It gives you the hatch for free. 
so that's fine. Ow. Keeping an eye on my oxygen. If I had a smaller tank, I'd probably be heading outside right now. I know that because I had to fucking come outside, like, constantly the first time I came down here. It's 250 depth, so you use up your air really quick. Anyways, sorry. Oh, and you can scan the chair and the desk, you know, for making those cool things. And there was a PDA down here first time I came here. Actually, I don't know why that video beacon turned back on, because I've already been here. And because I've already been here, I happen to remember there's a cave entrance directly above it that I can use. I didn't have to go all the way over to that other cave entrance. There's like this... Okay, this is this mushroom cave thing. It's its own biome that's beneath the other biomes, and it has a few entrances. Well, anyways, that's... Sorry, kind of anticlimactic. I really thought that that beacon was one of the things that I hadn't been to yet. And so you could see me scanning new stuff. Oh well. That's fine. Uh, I did get to show off the the sea moth, this, this boat thingy, which makes your life way easier. Fuck going to the surface for air. It's a pain in the ass. Plus, this is way faster than normal swimming. Do you hear that? There's something very big and angry over there. And also, base building. Honestly, base building is like the best part of this game. I had a previous save with a great big awesome base, but uh, it is no longer. My save Welcome point got removed captain. when I fucking rebuilt my computer. Oh, here, this, the modification station with like all the different modules and stuff. This shit was hard to find. The blueprint for that is like one of the most recent blueprints I got. And I was, I actually looked up the coordinates online but I didn't know how to read coordinates in this game, so I didn't end up using it, and I'm glad I didn't end up using it. I just found it. This is a scanner room. It, you can look up what different resources are near you. So, like, let's say I wanted to find limestone chunks. It can scan, and voila, there's a little red dot there. And then I think I have the HUD upgrade thing. Yeah, scanner room HUD chip, which is one of the things you can manufacture here. Scanner room HUD chip. It takes a computer chip and a magnetite, and if you're like, what the fuck's a magnetite? It spawns really deep. Well, not really deep, it's in that jelly cave we were just in. That's where the magnetite is. And we. The HUD upgrade lets me see it here on my HUD. Crazy, I know. Bam. And there, there's more popping up. The scanner room takes a while to, to do its thing. The longer you leave it running, the more, uh, the more stuff it's gonna find. Well, anyways, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and, uh, love you. And Mike, love you both. Come back home. Miss you.